Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The Defense Acquisition Council is expected to discuss acquisition proposals worth over 5,000 crore rupees at a high-level meeting that will be held in the next few days. One of the proposals is the acquisition of three naval cadet training ships, which would be required to be built under the Make in India category, and Indian shipyards would be allowed to participate in the tender. A Coast Guard proposal to acquire six maritime surveillance aircraft for enhancing security along the coastal areas of the country is also likely to be discussed in the meeting, and the surveillance equipments for these aircraft would be developed by the DRDO. The Indian Air Force is also likely to place a proposal related to its modernization of airfield infrastructure project, under which all the air bases will be upgraded for operating all types of fighter jets. According to latest reports, India will be carrying out an experimental test of its K-5 submarine launched system between 4th to 6th of January 2019. The 5,000 km range K-5 has been in development for the last few years, and will be equipped on the upcoming S-4 and S-4 star nuclear submarines. According to experts, the K-5 will be able to travel around 8,000 km with a lighter payload, and India will introduce MRF capability on the upcoming K-6 SLBM, which will have a range of 6,000 to 7,500 km. A spokesman for the Chinese Ministry of National Defense has said, that the Chinese Army has commissioned the Type 15 lightweight tank. The Type 15 tank weighs between 33 to 36 tons depending upon its armor, and this tank will be used in mountainous area, and can operate in terrain that are inaccessible for standard tanks which has a weight of around 50 tons. China has developed the Dongfeng 26, which can target aircraft carriers from 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers away. According to reports, as China could not export these systems to allies like Pakistan, it has developed the M20B system for its international customers, with a range conveniently restricted to 280 km. While China is already building ships and submarines for Pakistan, experts are predicting the introduction of these short-range systems in Pakistan Navy. The M20B costs only 100 crore rupees each and are very cost-effective counter to a 30,000 crore rupees aircraft carrier. According to latest reports, China's first domestically designed and built carrier has reportedly begun its fourth sea trial, ahead of its anticipated commissioning in April 2019. These trials are being conducted to test its aviation system for the first time, and the carrier's aviation division will also be coordinated for the first time. The carrier's air wing comprises of J-15 fighters, and it can carry a total of 32 J-15 fighter jets. According to latest reports, India is building a satellite tracking and data reception center in Bhutan. ISRO's ground station in Bhutan would be completed soon, and it is intended to help Bhutan in tasks such as weather information. The ground station of ISRO will also double up as a strategic asset for India, given its location between India and China. According to latest reports, the Aero India 2019 will feature a unique and unprecedented contest, under which various drone competitions will be held on the opening day of the event. The Drone Olympics will put spotlight on the domestic manufacturers, and will encourage the UAV manufacturers in the country, and will also allow the Defense Ministry to evaluate their products.